Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So for today's video I am sitting down and filming my pregnancy Q&A. This may be filmed in two halves and I've got to try and be as quiet as I can because I've got Arlo sleeping next door and fingers crossed he'll stay asleep for the duration of this video but um, if he doesn't that will be why it will be filmed in two parts. So recently on my Instagram I announced that we are expecting our baby number two um, which is really really exciting exciting and um, I thought I'd just sit down and film a quick um, Q&A about it and I'm going to answer everyone's kind of most asked questions when I put up the um, question sticker on my stories. So without further ado I'm just going to get cracking with it because I'm really worried about Arlo waking up and um, yeah I've got limited filming time so <laughs> let's get into it. So the first question is how far are you and I actually have to check my app for this and this is the Pregnancy Plus app which I have and when I was pregnant with Arlo I would check it every single day without fail and this time I just because I'm more busy with Arlo obviously I have very I don't have as much time to check it and stuff so I, I probably go on this about once a week if I remember but I am exactly 18 weeks and one day pregnant so I'm two weeks off of being halfway which is crazy I honestly do not know how it has gone this quickly so far the second question is, what were your family's reactions? Um, a lot of them weren't really surprised. I think once you've done it the first time, you've kind of got the shock out the way maybe. Um, but yeah, all our family were just really happy for us um, and we're excited for Arlo to have another little sibling. So the next question is, how did I tell Charlie? Now this is done in the most kind of like unromantic and unspecial way and like before I got pregnant I just had like this vision of like telling him in a really nice way but there's just no way that I can kind of keep that secret if I've just found out so I just told him as soon as I'd done the test um we were both really in shock we weren't really expecting it um but yeah just literally told him as I was doing the test so there was no sort of nice reveal in that for him but I just think how can you keep that a secret like I wouldn't have been able to speak to him in the same way had I have known and not told him. The next question is what is my biggest craving? Now I don't think I really have like strong cravings for certain things like I'll fancy something particular one day but I won't like it won't be like a reoccurring thing but yeah, I don't know, like it was the same with Arlo when I was pregnant with him. I didn't really have that strong of a craving for anything in particular, um, which is quite boring. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to even say what I fancy. I mean, it, it comes to an evening and I just want anything like sweet, sugary chocolate. But yeah, I suppose that is my biggest craving. I'm, I'm really not sure. You hear of all these people having wild and wacky cravings and that's just not been me. Both pregnancies, I don't know why, but I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't crave anything in particular some people crave like cre cleaning products and like and sponges and things like that which is wild but i can't say that i've ever like craved anything like that so the next question is what is your best and worst part of being pregnant so the best part is obviously knowing that you're growing a little baby inside of you um yeah that's obviously got to be the best part and i haven't got to it yet but i remember my my best part of being pregnant with Arlo was feeling um, his kicks. Now I am 18 weeks and I think by about 20 weeks I was feeling Arlo kick but this time I've actually got a front placenta so that is kind of stopping me from feeling a lot of the movements. I felt like flutters and things like that and I felt things that I thought have been kicks but they're like more they feel more like to the back and below as opposed to like kicks out the front. Um, but yeah, I didn't have a, a front placenta with Arlo, so I felt him move like pretty much every movement. Um, but with this one, I'll probably feel um, obviously a lot less because I've got that front placenta. And the worst part of being pregnant will lead me on to my next question is the symptoms. Um, I haven't struggled too badly with any of the symptoms. I haven't had sickness, but I've felt really, really um, like nauseous and like felt sick. Um, and that was more towards the um, like beginning of the pregnancy in the first trimester um, but luckily that has now stopped um, and I don't know why they call it morning sickness because I'd never ever felt it in the morning mine would only ever be in the evening um, like around dinner time which is a weird one really because I don't know I suppose is it more common for people to have it in the morning I don't know but yeah mine was a lot more towards the evening um, so yeah the the bad sim the bad symptoms are um, 
definitely like the worst part of the pregnancy but obviously like it's just nice to have that reassurance that you are pregnant i suppose like having symptoms and stuff like that so it's the worst part of it but it's not like bad bad so that leads me on to my next question which is what are your or what were your worst symptoms um and like i said in the first trimester it was definitely the nauseous um and i was a lot more tired as well in my first trimester but literally as soon as i got to 12 weeks as soon as i got to the second trimester that all went for me um but i do now get really strong like i suppose they're like hormone headaches and that's definitely the worst symptom so far um and i can kind of feel the fatigue like creeping back in again which i'd felt more in the first trimester and not now so hopefully that's just a blip um because that is really really hard obviously having arlo to look after and just feeling really really tired because there's not much you can do like i'm getting full night sleeps and things like that but yeah it's it's tricky looking after um a one-year-old and being pregnant at the same time so i would definitely say if you are pregnant now with your first baby just oh <laughs> just relax as much as you can because you will not be able to do that again um so yeah that would be my one bit of advice for someone who's pregnant the first time the next question is how do you feel about giving birth the second time and I'd be lying if I said I hadn't given it much thought. It has been on my mind a lot more than the first time. I think because you're more aware of what's to come and it's a little bit more daunting. Um, I am looking into doing hypnobirthing this time um, just to get me in like a positive mind frame from it because my labour with Arlo, it wasn't like a bad labour but there are certain things that happened during my labour with Arlo that I don't really want to happen the second time round um obviously you can't stop what's going to happen and i did go in um to my labor with arlo with like a really open mind and just went in with the kind of intention that what happens um will be but yeah i don't know i just it's a lot more like daunting the second time around just because you know exactly what can go wrong and what to expect and things like that and i had one dream the other night was um was me giving birth and that just brought it all back for me it brought back the feelings and after that i was like oh my god i can't do that again but obviously it's inevitable it's going to happen um so you just got to be like positive about it so that is why i'm going to be looking into doing hypnobirthing because i just want to kind of get myself in like a positive mind frame and it is all about your mind as well like i think a lot of it is to do with your mind um and so yeah the next question is, what does Arlo understand? Now, Arlo is just over one. He's 13 months old and he understands what a baby is and knows what a baby is. He's got a little baby book, which he's had for months and months. Um, he got it before we were even pregnant. Um, and he loves looking through that and he goes, ah, at babies. And like, yeah, he understands what that is. Obviously, we've told him that we're having a baby and he's going to have um, a baby sibling. Um, so... I suppose for a 13 month old it is, it is quite hard for them to understand they don't really know too much but when I've like shown him my tummy he gives it a kiss which is really really sweet I, if I've got a video I'll um I'll insert it now oh that's lovely what's in mummy's tummy what's in mummy's tummy say baby <laughs> So yeah, I just think in terms of him understanding, he doesn't obviously understand the concept, but he understands what a baby is. Um, he'll be 18 months, exactly a year and a half when um, the baby is here. So he may understand a little bit more there, but yeah, it's just, it just, he's obviously just a little bit too young to really, really understand and engage in like what's going on and stuff. And the next question is, do you feel prepared and I would 100% say that I feel more prepared this time round than I did the first time. Like, we do not have to buy a single thing now because obviously we got everything for Arlo. Um, we're really um, lucky. I mean, we did this on purpose. We chose a pram that could turn into like a double buggy. Um, so, I mean, we've already got our pram sorted for Arlo and the new baby to both have together. Um, we've got Arlo's old baby car seats, like things like that. We've literally got everything. And I also kept all of Arlo's um, baby clothes so obviously they can use all of those obviously we will be buying like other 
little bits of clothes and things like that as Arlo was a um, December winter baby this baby is going to be in July so yeah in terms of um, things like we've literally uh, feel so 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 prepared don't have to buy a single thing and then mentally do I feel prepared I would say yes I have been really lucky in that I've actually been childminding a little boy who is two days younger than Arlo and I've been doing that for a couple of days a week since August and I would say like that has given me such a good insight into what having two at the same time um is like although they are very similar in ages so it obviously will be different having a newborn and a toddler but in terms of having two at the same time i think it, it will be okay like obviously i only look after this little boy for two days a week and those two days a week are they are hectic obviously with two children running around but um i suppose it's just going to be 24 7 hectic but it's just yeah it is what it is if it was that bad and that that crazy and that hard no one would do it and it's just like i don't know i just suppose like growing your family is like one of the most natural things to do so i don't know in in answer i feel like yeah i'm prepared and the last question is can we get a bump update so i've got my little dress on i don't know if you can really tell i've got a bit of a bump oh god it looks a lot bigger when i do that but yeah, so this is me at 18 weeks, which is just, it is absolutely crazy to say, like 18 weeks. I honestly do not know where the time has gone. It has gone so, so, so quick. And I suppose it's only going to go quicker because um, I find like the first 12 weeks are the, um, is the time that probably goes the slowest. But yeah, I think it's just going to fly by from here, especially once you've gone halfway, like yeah, it's just going to absolutely fly by. So yeah, very, very exciting. It does just seem to be happening so quickly. And I, like I said at the beginning, like now I have Arlo, I barely have any time to even think about it. And I, to be honest, most days I don't even really remember that I'm pregnant. I only mainly remember in the evenings once Arlo's gone to sleep. Um, but yeah, it's just so, so different being pregnant your second time round. It's just as special, but it's just it's just such a different experience. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Um, I really enjoy doing these like sit down Q&A videos, um, especially when it's something exciting like being pregnant. So, um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love it if you liked the video. And if you are new here and you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It would mean the absolute world. Um, and yes, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be bringing you more pregnancy and motherhood content soon. Where you are.